Right now, friends are gathering in Dover, New Hampshire to remember Aaron Wilkinson. On Saturday, a woman in Lebanon found his body 23 miles away from where investigators say his so-called friends stabbed him to death. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley is live at Dover High School where a walk started about half an hour ago. Jim? That's right, Lindsay. We're behind Dover High School uh, where actually Aaron Wilkinson went to school for a time. Now, this was the scene a little while ago. We want to show you uh, the pictures here. Family and friends gathering a short while ago, uh, many of them wearing red, Aaron's favorite color. They held flowers. They carried pictures of Wilkinson. His parents were here, too. Uh, they were walking from the high school to the local skate park about two miles away. Wilkinson, we're told, spent a lot of time over there. Uh, there were a lot of hugs, a lot of tears, as you can imagine, especially from Chris Cody, Aaron's best friend, who was taking the death of his friend very hard. Every day, got to cry. It's horrible. What do you think this will mean tonight, this walk? It'll mean so much to everybody here. It probably means something different to every one of them. I mean, to me, it means the world. It really does. But I don't know what it means to him or her or him. But it's a tragedy. It's so uncalled for. All right, now later tonight, there'll be a separate uh, memorial for the victim over in Exeter, New Hampshire, because he went to a uh, charter school there, too, for a while. Uh, that'll be held from 8 to 10 tonight. We're told at Swayze Park, another skateboarding park there. But for now, we're live in Dover, New Hampshire. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.